everybody, Mary Jane here, and I'm sitting here at home making some videos for you. And today I wanted to tell you a little bit about the instrument that I grew up playing and that I played most of all, which was the trumpet. Now today I have two different instruments to show you. The first is a trumpet and the second is a cornet. And a trumpet and a cornet are very similar. You play them the exact same way but the way they're put together is a little bit different. So let me demonstrate. First off, I'm gonna get out the trumpet. And I have my trumpet. This is actually my sister's trumpet because I play a cornet. My sister played the trumpet. And as you can see, the trumpet is made up of a variety of different parts. We start off up here with the mouthpiece. And the mouthpiece, of course, is where you put your mouth. And you buzz into the mouthpiece of trumpets because they are part of the brass family. Now, brass is what these are made out of, but not all brass instruments are part of the brass family. So you kind of have to be, be aware of that. Um, there's one out there called the saxophone, which looks like it should be part of the brass family, but isn't. Okay, so trumpets have a tube where the air goes in, and then the air travels down all of these tubes, all the way around a various combination of the tubes, out, <laughs> out this way, and through this tubing, and then out through the bell. Now, as you can see, the bell is right there. Now, to play a trumpet, any kind of brass instrument, you use the same technique, which is buzzing. And buzzing is like, like basically making an inappropriate sound with your mouth. You put your lips together like you're saying, mmm, and then you tighten the corners and you blow through the middle. So it ends up sounding like this. And if you tighten your lips a lot, you make the sound go high, and if you t loosen your lips a lot, you make the sound go low. So, to make different sounds on the trumpet, you use your mouth, looseness and tightness, to make it change sounds. So here you go, listen to this. <laughs> Sometimes you can see on trumpeters' mouths a little bit there, moving and changing just a little bit. So this is the trumpet. Like I said, this is my sister's trumpet. This is the one that she played all through elementary school and through, high, um, through middle school and through some of high school. Now the trumpet is a little bit different from the instrument I'm going to show you next, which is the cornet. And the cornet is the instrument that I played most. Now you can see that the cornet has a bell, it has a mouthpiece, it has the same tubes, it has the same valves, all of those kinds of things. But when you put a trumpet and a cornet next to one another, you can see some differences. Specifically, you can see that a cornet is a lot more compact than the trumpet. It's just a little bit different. Now the reason I play a cornet and not a trumpet is just simply because when I was growing up, we didn't have enough money to buy a new instrument and my dad already had a cornet, so I, I, I used his cornet for a really long time. And then when I was 16 years old and decided that I was going to be a musician the rest of my life, my parents bought me my own cornet and they bought me what's known as a silver cornet, as you can tell. It's silver instead of brass. But you play it the same exact way. You use your lip. To make different sounds and to make the sound go up high or go down low. Now the other part, the other tool that you use to do this are the valves. And this is a valve. And I'm gonna take this valve out and show you what it looks like on the inside. Valves are made like this. There's a little bit of a spring right here, which helps the valve move up and down in its casing. And then there are holes. 
And what these holes do, let me make sure I put this in the way it's supposed to be put in. Uh, I think it goes this way. What these holes do is those holes match up with each one of these little tubes. And so if the valve is not pushed down, then the air goes from here out through here and around. Out through here and around. If the valve though is pushed down, then all of a sudden the air goes through this tube that's back behind here and then back in before it comes out and around. And that's how trumpets are put together. Now, the reason I was blowing through my trumpet right then was to see if I got the, the tubes lined up in the right spot. Because if I don't get the tubes lined up in the right spot when I try to blow through, I get, I get my air blocked. It's like you're blowing against a straw that's pinched off on the end. You just don't get your, your air through. Now, when I change, when I push down on different key combinations, what happens is my air has to travel farther in the instrument. So instead of going from here to here and coming out the back and up and around and out to the bell, now all of a sudden the air has to go from here, out through this tube, back in, back in, out the back, and out the bell. And what that does is it changes the sound just a little bit. So listen to what happens when I start off with open valves, and then I change it by pressing different valve combinations. That's how you play the trumpet. And that's how you play the cornet. And this is how you play a lot of our brass instruments. Thank you for being around with me. Thank you for, for exploring my favorite instrument a little bit, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.